Hello and welcome to another Dr. Hades video. Today we will talk about a very important subject that most of you guys ask me to talk about and that is how to become a better teamfight tactics player in just 5 easy steps. It's so bright, it's hard to breathe, but that's alright, hush. Okay, so the first step on getting better at teamfight tactics is to start watching other players play. And what do I mean in here? When you have, let's say, 8 hours a week to play teamfight tactics, you should split that time 50-50% on how other players play. Because like that, you will understand other player decision, how they decide to play a comp, when they decide to reroll, or when they decide to econ. So it is very important decision making in teamfight tactics, after all it's a strategy game. So watching other players you will understand better on how the game works, how better comps, what are the best comps right now, because you will not only see what he is making, but also what other players are making in high elo. So if you start thinking of how like a high elo player, you will get high elo. It's not like that. They, I know they are smurfing players in low elo, but they are just in some of the games. And after all, in teamfight tactics, is it, it is enough to get top 4 in order to get points. It's not like League of Legends that you have to win the game. So, start watching other players play. Players like me or other players that are making content on YouTube or even streaming on Twitch. It's not a problem, I don't say that you should watch only me. You can watch whatever streamer or content creator you want, it's not a problem. But you have to keep in mind one thing guys, you should start watching players that want to become pro players and not players of teamfight tactics that are just playing for fun and for creating content on YouTube because they are two different players. Those players play for fun and making fun compositions and not exactly for playing like a pro player and become high elo or getting challenger or getting rank one. Okay, I know the game must be fun too, but trust me, when you win, the game is fun. <laughs> for the second step, it is very important to see what the meta is. So each time you, the patch changes, you know that Riot changes a little bit in teamfight tactics. And here, I mean, they can change compositions, they can change champions, or they can change items. And if you already played teamfight tactics, you know that the patch is changing pretty hard from one patch. Uh, the, the meta is changing pretty hard from one patch to another, so maybe you should spend the first few days on adapting on the game, practically playing normal games. This is what I do. After the patch change, I always play normal games first to see if I understand the new patch, because for me, in my opinion, every patch is like starting teamfight tactics almost, not for the beginning, but you start like a 75% knowledge on the game. So you adapt on normal and then you apply on ranked games. So you should watch, like there are a lot of uh, websites that you can use for the meta composition. There is TF Tactics, there is Mobolytics. These two are very good. I know sometimes they say uh, Cybernetics, let's say, are very good. And uh, the other says Cybernetics are really bad. But you should watch because their compositions are very different between the two Cybernetics. Because the one, one of them says if you get I really a, a free star, the comp is really good. But the other says that you don't need to get I really a free star, so the comp is bad. Okay, so they are a little bit different. You have to pay attention of items. Of course, items are very important in the game, but keep in mind that compositions sometimes are the best thing that you can do, because there are some patches in which if you play all one composition, doesn't matter how good you play it, it's bad. And if you play, let's say, Dark Stars are really good right now, even they, if they are four people playing Dark Star, they will all get top four. So you should be one of the Dark Star players. Okay, I know they, so there are some players think that it is better to play whatever other players 
don't play, but trust me, I tried that and nobody was playing one game, let's say protectors, I was playing protectors and I was not getting protectors and that moment I realized because it's not really like that, it's not if the other players don't play it, you must get the cards, it is not like that, maybe you get easier the cards if you, from the beginning you would get the cards, okay, so keep that in mind. So just to summarize the step two, you should watch what are the big changes on the game every patch. Uh, I think on set four I will make a video each time in which I say what changes are from patch to patch so you should start watching those videos or you can watch Mobolytics or TF Tactics to see what good compositions are right now. Moving on to the third step, which is to learn how to play really good one composition and another one understand how to play it. Like practically you have to master one composition and the other one you should know how to play it. But this should change almost each patch because as I told you in the previous step, compositions are changing each patch so you should learn how to play let's say really good cybernetics and after that you should uh, understand how to play star guardian okay and each game in low elo you should try to get cybernetics if you don't see cybers you try to get star guardians or let's say in the new set 4 you understand how to play dualist but you know how to play even cultist okay so you have to learn really good how to play how to uh, adapt on itemization if you don't get the right items what items could be also good for that composition and you have to like master that composition for me let's say this season in my opinion there was a part of the season in which I played only Darkstar and I was playing so good that I got from gold to diamond 4. So in like two weeks, like I was playing really good Darkstar. After that I haven't been playing because I was not understanding the meta. So guys, keep that in mind, you have to understand the meta in order to see what composition you should learn because you shouldn't learn any composition you should learn the compositions that are really good and how to adapt if you don't get a champion or an item that you need but you should keep playing meta compositions the fourth step and maybe one that is very important is the economy on the game because i see a lot of players that let's say level up really fast but they remain with zero gold it is worth it to put only one more champion in your composition and get zero gold after that because if you know if you stack money you get more money if you have 10 gold you get one more gold next round if you get 20 gold you get two more golds next round and if you get 50 gold or more you get five more gold next round. 5 gold is this a lot, so you should focus on getting your economy up but still leveling up. In my opinion, what you should do when you have the chance to level up and still get left 30 gold in your economy, you should level up. If you, let's say, need more and you will get you will uh, be left with less than 30 gold in your bank, you shouldn't level up only if you are losing really bad and you should, you need, or you should, or you need to spend your money in order to not lose with, I don't know, 60 gold or 55 gold, okay? Then you should level up or reroll, doesn't matter. Reroll is the next step, so we'll talk about that afterwards. So keep in mind, to level up when it is necessary and you still get gold going. Of course, sometimes you get from level I to level level 8 to level 9 and, and you get only, let's say, 10 gold left. Sometimes you already have the champion 2 star or 3 star that you want to put in, so then it's worth it. Of course, sometimes it is worth to be left with no economy in the end of the game. But during the game, like mid game or mid to late game, it is very important to still have 30 plus gold each time after 
you level up, so keep that in mind. Fifth and last step that you need to understand in order to become a better player in teamfight tactics, it is re-rolling. Because I saw a lot of people re-rolling with no reason, and especially re-rolling early game, it is a very bad decision. The only time that you should reroll early game is when you have a lot of pairs staying on your board and let's say you have four or five pairs and you need only one champion in order to make a two star, then it's a moment that you should reroll until you want to star a champion. Okay, let's say you're 30 gold, you are losing, you have five champions, for all of them you have a pair on your bank, let's say on your um, out of the board and then you should re-roll and get to the champion that you want to star or practically you will stop re-rolling when you to star champion. That's a good way to re-roll. After that, of course, it depends on what composition you play because there are composition that you have to go fast 8 and those are the composition that you shouldn't re-roll. Okay, you should focus on leveling up, but as I mentioned in step 4, you should level up in the way you sh still get more economy. Okay, and let's get back to re-rolling. Re-rolling you should do it before level 7 or 8, only if you have pairs that need to get to a start or if you're playing a slow roll composition as was in set 3, let's say Blade Master, Blade Master or Battle Cast, there were slow rolling compositions. But you have to keep in mind, or I think even Duelists in set 4, they are a slow reroll and also Moonlight in the new set, they are slow roll compositions, but uh, if you play Enlightened Dazzler or you play uh, Mystic Dazzler, you should fast 8 because all that you need are, um, let's say, champions that are 4 or 5 cost, so you need level up in order to get them. Okay, so re-rolling you have to do it when you, you're playing a fast 8, let's say, composition, you should do it only after 8 in order to finish your composition. But if you are in a winning strike, okay, you should re-roll in order to maintain your win strike. But, but keep in mind this guys, it is very important to know when you would win even if you don't re-roll. Okay, if you know you can beat everybody, you shouldn't re-roll and you should keep Econ. Okay, that's very important. So in order to conclude the video, the five easy steps are watch other players play, understand the meta, learn or master a really good composition and understand how to play another one, learn how to Econ and to level up and understand when you should re-roll or you shouldn't. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button and subscribe to my channel and do not forget to comment in the comment section what ELO are you now and come later after one month or two months and see what ELO you will be after one or two months after you saw the video. Okay guys, thank you very much for watching, see you next time, bye bye.